Hello, it is I, Dragon Souped, also known as Sotasaur in game. In this video, I'll be talking about Minecraft's latest snapshot for the 1.17 Caves and Cliffs update, 20W46A. Now, let's get right into the video. To start things off, several changes have been made to the game's blocks, items, and world generation alongside some other more technical changes. Starting off with changes to blocks, amethyst buds and clusters can now be obtained using silk touch, and the base banner pattern has now been renamed to the feud banner pattern. Copper blocks now use 4 copper ingots rather than 9 copper ingots, and lapis lazuli blocks have now been renamed to blocks of lapis lazuli. Lightning rods now cover double the area compared to the last snapshot. And finally for block changes, structure blocks now use the load function by default. As for item changes, bundles now show previews of any items inside upon being selected in the inventory. Eating pufferfish now only gives poison 2 rather than poison 4. And finally, spyglasses now have a different overlay texture upon zooming in. Alongside all of these item and block changes, the textures of items and blocks introduced in the previous snapshot have now been modified. Amethyst shards, copper ingots, bundles, and the item form of candles now sport higher quality textures. Alongside cut copper blocks, tinted glass, amethyst blocks, and budding amethyst. Moving on to the more technical changes. Sky colors now transition more smoothly when traveling between biomes. The replace item command has now been removed and replaced with a new command, which I'll be talking about later. You can now use the scroll wheel to modify settings within the menu, and alongside this, you can also press the shift button in order to return a value to its previous setting. And finally, the data pack version has now been changed to version 7 in order to be consistent with the resource pack version. And now, onto the new changes in this snapshot. Powder Snow is a new variant of snow that has many strange properties. Although it sports a similar texture, Powder Snow works like water, allowing entities such as players, mobs, and items to pass through it, although with reduced speed and jump height. However, Powder Snow can prove quite dangerous to players and mobs that pass through it, as they will find that their vision will slowly freeze over and eventually, they'll take frost damage. Powder Snow, alongside being a deadly trap, can also prove to be useful as well. Players and mobs can walk on Powder Snow normally if they're wearing leather boots, and players will also be able to climb up and down Powder Snow as if it were scaffolding. In addition to this, players and mobs that wear additional pieces of leather armor will be able to survive longer inside of Powder Snow, and, if they're wearing a full set, will take no frost damage. However, if you wish to obtain this wondrous block, you will soon find that breaking this block will not drop its respective item, and Silk Touch will not work on this block either. Instead, this block can be picked up using a bucket to create a Powder Snow bucket which you can use to relocate the block. Players will also not find this block naturally either. Instead, cauldrons can fill up with powder snow if they are left outside in snowy weather. In addition to all this, you can also use powder snow buckets to store the block within cauldrons, and powder snow buckets will also work with dispensers as well. Some more technical features have also been added in this snapshot as well. A new command, the item command, has now been added. This brand new command, which replaces the replace item command from previous versions, 
allows players to replace and modify items within other players' inventories, alongside mob inventories and storage blocks. And finally for the new features, loot tables can now have new parameters to check for damage and item amounts, and they can also check for scoreboard values as well. And to top it all off for this snapshot, various bug fixes have been made to the game, with more to come in future snapshots. Well, that's all I have for this video. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and be sure to check out my other videos too. This is Dragon Souped, signing out.